Hello everyone. Today, me and my family are going to Ali and Zoo. The journey is one and a half hour long, so stay tuned. So guys, we finally reached the zoo. Now we're getting out of the car to see all the animals. So far, the entrance looks really nice to me. It has a lot of greenery. So before we start our journey in the zoo, I would like to show you the map. Here it is. The music is coming from that little rock over there. It's actually really fascinating. There's also a train station in this Alien Zoo. Rehans will come to you. No, it will not. It will not. Why are you too scared? Bhaiya is with you. Here, have a look at these fascinating flamingos. I'm going to open my bag to see if there's a snack inside. I don't know the thing. There's also boards like these that tell you facts about uh, the uh, the animals. It actually sounds pretty weird, but flamingos do dance. Even the floor of the zoo is really cool. Here are some fact boards that I found while I was walking. I thought these might interest you. I didn't only come this, to this park for the animals. I also came to this park for the nature. The, I'm fascinated by this park's nature. It has a lot of greenery. So now we are going to the elephant exhibit and the gorilla sanctuary. Yes, I want. Rude, my list is just because of you. You got hurt. My brother's leg got injured, so my dad had to carry him. I spotted the lion, but that is also sleeping. <gasps> Did you find anything? Or oh, this is also empty? See? There's another one behind it. Yeah, there's two white lines. Yeah, they're both. Wait. Rehan, did you see it? I am getting vitamin C from the fresh, juicy oranges, and I am getting vitamin D from the sun. I recently watched a movie about apes. It's called Dawn of the Country of the Apes. And the second part is War of the Country of the Apes. It is a really fascinating movie and you should watch it. Huh. Only two? Yeah. Only two? Yeah, we are not watching the ape movie. Here are some really active monkeys. Huh. They're playing. Huh. Huh. Huh, look at him. Huh.
Oh. Here is the giraffe that Rehan has awaited for for a long time. By the way, giraffes have adapted to having a long neck to fill to fulfill their food needs. This turtle's shell acts like a protective shield to the body of the turtle. And by the way, people people get animal skins and make mobile cover out of, covers out of it. My mom has one for about uh, my mom has an ostrich one, and it's for about two hundred to three hundred dirhams. After drinking some really frozen water, the hand got frozen too. The water is so cold. When I touched it, it felt like ice. <laughs> Red ears. Red ears are red. Sort of. They look like turtles. Yeah, they do. turtles. Now we are entering the bird world. They kept a very comfortable climate for this area. All the birds, they're so beautiful. And here we are at the penguin area. These penguins are actually really cool. These penguins were also really playful. It's so astonishing that they've made the climate suitable for these penguins. And they've made all this in what used to be a desert. That's truly astonishing. Let's go inside and check it out. We entered this really astonishing building in an Ain Zoo, which looks really nice. In this building, it shows UAE's past, present, and future goals. This space was really, uh, I liked. Uh, this space was really cool, and I liked it a lot. Here are some clips of the area. Here are some artifacts of UAE. This just explains how simple the people of UAE's life was. Now look how developed UAE is. Hats off to the kingdom of UAE. Before dates and fish were the main source of UAE's food and camel's milk for calcium.
the way uae has sustained his culture and history and the way it has adapted the latest technology is a true reason of its glory and success So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Can you see you in the next one. Bye guys. Seems difficult.